we're gonna start writing our paper, but we're gonna take it in small baby steps. Because if I were to give you this whole paper and say, go for it, guess what would happen? It would not work the way we wanted it to. And I'm gonna have to go back and then take it in baby steps then when we didn't get right. So today our goal is going to be to write our topic sentence and our concluding sentences for both paragraphs topic sentence and concluding sentence for both paragraphs. So, let's start. What's a topic? What's a topic though? What is it? It's a greeting for the story you're doing. Well, it's not necessarily a greeting for the story. Look at how we tapped it out yesterday. What was our tap yesterday? What's the T stand for? Topic. Topic, Zach, what's a topic? So every paragraph that we're, we write, we need a topic sentence. It is like a bling, bling, bling moment that says, hey, readers, you can expect to write this in your first, or read about this in your first paragraph. Bling, 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 readers, you can expect to read about this in your second paragraph. It is always going to be at the beginning of the paragraphs that you write. So we need to today write two topic sentences and then a concluding sentence says bling 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 reader guess what you finished my paragraph time to move on it's kind of like your ending of your paragraph so we are writing two topic sentences today and two concluding sentences so the way that we're organizing our paper is we are doing compare and contrast similarities differences you are going to be writing Paragraph one will be about our similarity. Paragraph two is gonna be about our differences. So we need to create a topic sentence for our similarity paragraph, a topic sentence for our differences paragraph, a concluding sentence for our similarity paragraph, and a concluding sentence for our differences paragraph. So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna hand out our paper because this is how we're gonna keep everything organized. Um, we need to keep it organized so that when we go to write it for our rough draft, we have it all ready to go. And when we're writing our similarities and our differences paragraph, there's going to be different things that I'm going to be looking for. Let's sit up with third graders. So what do you think the first thing you're going to do? Oh, good. I would hope so. And then, so if you notice on this paper here, we have a topic sentence followed by similarity, 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 and then a concluding sentence. And then if you go to the back side of it, we have topic sentence, Difference, oops, I hit the wrong button. I didn't agree to that today. Difference, explanation, difference, explanation, concluding. So what we are going to do today, boys and girls, is we are going to do the topic sentence and the concluding sentences for our paragraphs. So what is paragraph one going to be about? What is paragraph one about? Similarities. Similarities, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of how I would write my topic sentence. Your pencils are going to be down, okay? Then we're gonna see if we can come up with some other ways that we can write a topic sentence. And then what we'll do is you get to choose one that you want to write. So my example, pencils down. Now because I'm not actually writing in the paragraph Yet, what I will do is I am going to, I'm not going to worry about indenting just yet. Okay? So, I'm going to write Miss Yelena, because that's obviously my name. What is my topic of my paper? 
Night before school is not the topic Georgie, of this paper. Georgie versus um, Jeannie the Meanie. Georgie versus Jeannie. Okay. So, here we go, boys and girls. I know it's blurry. It's how this camera rolls. Here we go. My topic sentence. I'm going to start by introducing my characters, Georgie and Jeannie the Meanie. And I'm going to put the words are similar. Did I tell you what I'm going to be writing about in that paragraph? Yeah. What am I What am I writing about? Georgie versus Jeannie. And how they are similar. So, do not write anything about this yet. Georgie and Jeannie the Meanie. are similar, period. Okay, so I have my topic sentence for my similar paragraph. What are some other ways that I might want to start this paragraph? And I'm going to put it on my whiteboard over here. What are some other ways that I might want to start this? Emily. But am I writing a story? No. Am I writing a story? No. No, so I can't say this is a story about George and Jeannie Meanie. Because that's not what this paragraph's about. What so what else? Georgie and Jeannie the Meanie are similar. What's another way that I could state that? What's another way that I could say Brogan? Georgie and Okay, Georgie and Jeannie the Meanie are alike. Okay, what's another way? Camden. Georgie and Jeannie and the Meanie have similarities. Georgie and, okay, I'm gonna shorten this, okay? So I'm not gonna put J, I'm not gonna put Jeannie the Meanie because that's a lot to write, but you know, Jeannie the Meanie, you know when you go to write it, if you choose the sentence to write, you could do that one. So Georgie and Jeannie the Meanie have Similarities. Could we say that they're alike? That they're similar? That they are what? What's another word for alike and similar? Emily. The same. The same. They are the same. You have one, two, Three sentences. Guess what you're going to do? Choose one, and where it says topic sentence for paragraph one, write that sentence that you are going to choose. Okay? Are you writing all three? No. How many are you writing? One. One. Go ahead and write that. <laughs> 